Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. Jeez, Joe. Drag the body, body to the bartender's car. Oh my God, Joe. What's up, it's Johnny, and welcome back to Definitive Edition Mafia 2. We just left up, left off. Hello, words. What's going on with my mouth right now? Uh, we just joined the Mafia, and now we're waking up, I think, at our new house, but I'm not 100% sure, so let's just go ahead and see what we're about to get into. On the last episode, they kind of did like a, like a montage of things when we, when we first joined the Mafia, so I think that we are actually in our house. Uh, right here. Nice little house, though. Uh, hello. Hey, Vito, it's Eddie. Hey, Eddie, what's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, all right, what's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right, I'll be right there. Perfect. Okay, let's see here. We have a closet here. Where's our closet at? So, that's that. Oh, change your clothes. There we go. Let's see here. We got pinstripes. Renegade pack. I don't want it. Grease pack. Casual suit and raincoat. Tailored suit. Go tailored suit right now, baby. Ain't no thing out here. Okay. There's our garage. We're gonna take our sweet car. Let's put it that way. And that's a fact. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cut when we get there because I'm not gonna show out all the driving. It's not necessarily in this game because most of the time you don't really do anything besides just drive there. And it's kind of boring. Alright, we're here. I went on with a baseball bat and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty. What are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, uh I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man Vito. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Falcone. Hi, Vito. Okay. Yeah. Just wants take to fit in. Hey, guys. <sighs> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm gonna be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's gonna act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're gonna take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's <laughs> safe. I just got to press Christ this. Sake, put it away now. Okay, What's the matter with okay. You? You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay. So now we're going to waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in the room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. 
Marty's gonna Look, die. Vito, he's gonna wait in the car I outside think. and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with Vito here. It's <laughs> this idea is uh pretty crazy. Take Joe's car and drive hey, Joe. Joe and Marty so to well. the Empire Arms the Hotel. The kind you don't need to know about. The Gavish. The Gavish. Okay, where is it at? Oh, right here? You want, oh, you want this one. God. I thought we could check. Guess not. Go ahead and get the nice car, though. Pretty nice. Oh, Marty gets the front seat, huh? That's weird. You Just think, don't go uh, busting it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, right. I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together. Too what are you? Explosives? <laughs> yeah. For a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel. Park in the underground parking lot and use the back entrance. So, uh, fellas, come on, tell me. What's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh, come hey, on. you just... What are you writing a book? I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm... You know, I'm just curious, you know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay. No more questions. Sure, sure, whatever. What is the hotel sky, sky huh? Marty, hey, sorry, I'm in a rush. sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. <clears throat> Not another word. Cross my heart. Of course, I didn't hit one thing on the way over here besides that. All right, here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. Okay. Go all the way around here. Park in there. And hey, we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clemente's goons searching us and finding them. Alright. Here we go. Alright, Vito and me, you'll go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're going to need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente I really don't want him to die, but I think he's going to... The third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we going to get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you want to wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. <laughs> we'll grab some hotel worker. Uniforms. Something's gonna go so Don't wrong. We'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously, when did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here. So don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? <laughs> Stay here. Ah, uh, where's the fucking bridesmaid? <laughs> okay, find the cleaner's uniforms. Ah, shit. It's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while just in case Num Nut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. Hey. So how do I get out? Come on, you idiot. find a way inside and look for some cleaners' uniforms. Okay, so there looks like there's a gate right here. Gate two. Uh, can I help you, sir? You see Ting Lao? Yeah. Well, where is he? Okay. No one's gonna say anything, so I guess we're good. Hey, go on to the right here Open the door Bada bing Look, I'm really sorry I couldn't get here sooner Another minute you would have been late to your own damn funeral Sorry, I was All right, enough Just get the hell out of here Boom See, I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. Okay, where are they at? Oh, right here, I see him. Change the cleaner's uniform. Vito, see, one more Hello. thing. Here, put this on. 
Are you fucking serious? <laughs> so nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. Great. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go. See, long time ago. Hey, you two, get over here. Yes. Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. Clean up mess. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. All right. Let's go, move it. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, there Richie, we come with us. Easy, Joe. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, we gotta All go right, upstairs. Come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. I don't, know if, I don't know if I finished my thought though, but I was saying earlier that a long time ago you could pretty much get away with anything because there really was no cell phones or cameras really. I mean, you could just uh, yeah. literally just walk on the street, kill someone, and you have no witnesses, you're pretty much good to go. Henry's good people, even if he does work for nowadays. Clemente. Nope. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. Yeah. Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. Fucking hope so. About damn time. Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilled something in the conference room. Mm. All right, let's go. You ain't gonna ask what it is or how it got there. You're just gonna clean it up. Empire Arms starting soon. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So okay, if you know go. what's good for you, you'll get the place spick and span, and then get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I love the way these guys talk. That was you. You're darn right it was. Let me make it up to you. I don't think so. I insist. Don't get run on guys by Clemente's guys. These two are here to clean up the uh, mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. One of the guys who was uh, here before, he uh, tripped and fell. The poor guy hit his head pretty hard. About five or six times. So now there's <laughs> blood all over the fucking place. And we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you got to okay. get this shit cleaned up. And you got to make it snappy. Got it. Fucking pricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. Hey, hey, yeah. Give me a hand here. All right. Cut a hole. Oh, shit. Uh, that, the, oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow, the blue, and the plus, and the plus, and uh, the red, and matching, the negative, ne uh, the blue, and cross over here perfect okay the hard part is almost over <clears throat> all right should we go ahead and start cleaning out screw the stains and put your back into it come on you lazy fucks hurry it up <clears throat> going as fast as i can sir I'm giving it all we got, Captain. All right, stains are out. Let's go. All right, bombs placed. Yeah, stains are removed. All right, you can get out of here. Let's go. All right, now we just gotta follow Joe to the roof. Okay. So now far, let's get so to the good. Roof. Don't say that when there's fifty thousand people. Okay, let's go left. We haven't got That's spotted Clemente. just yet. We could take him out right now if we had a gun. Yeah, you yeah, would die. He'd be dead in two seconds. Just take it easy and stick to the plan. All right, everything's so good. Okay, straight to the roof. Damn, I ain't used to this much exercise. Why do they gotta put so many fucking stairs? <laughs> What do you want me to carry you? Vito. Vito, hold on. I forgot something. 
Yeah, this is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. This is nice. Some piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified clip. did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. We gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. Come down and give me a fucking smack! Shit, these guys! Fuck me. All right, let's get out of here. So how are you gonna... Oh, oh, this is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on, check it out. <laughs> uh, that's nasty. Okay, find the hotel's window washing platform. Oh my god, how are we gonna do that? So we have to go in here. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get shit. Thanks. Okay. Here go. I'm going in. Ow. What are you scared, asshole? Okay. Got that one. One more. Oh. Look at the top. You shoot like my sister. Boom. They teach you that in the army? Boom. Be careful. There might be more. I don't think so. I think we're good. Personally. All right, we got to go up to the top. Is there like a staircase somewhere or? Oh, I see it. Yeah, okay, we had to go this way. So there might be more people this way. What he's talking about? No ammo. Yep, there it's we go. It's over. Come on, one more. Boom. Let's go. So far, so good. Oh, man. More. One more. On, Boom. Okay. We're getting okay. close. That takes care of that. I hope nobody heard us up here. Nah, buildings like this got soundproof windows. And we're so high up, nobody on the street could have heard us neither. Come on, let's get to the window washing platform. Oh, the elevator. Okay. You two doing? I wasn't done with my. Oh shit! Jesus, okay, okay, don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. All right, put your hands behind your back. We ain't gonna hurt you. Let's go. Come on. Here's some tape. Tie him up. Here at the cleaner. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. <laughs> Him up. Okay. Okay, get on. Take the magazine. We got work to do. All right, use elevator. Hey, how much wire you got? Enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow it. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. You better not. If we fall off this thing, you're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man. Okay. This is the right floor. Use the squeegee to stay you know, in character. Grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. You pick up squeegee. What the fuck Wash are you up. waiting for? All right, everything so everything is good so far. Where's the audio? Why does my audio keep cutting out right here? Or is this just how it's supposed to be?
All right, well, I guess we'll just see what happens. They're talking still. Where's my audio? Audio is like not even doing it. Oh, uh, yeah, just like the clockwork. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. These assholes ain't gonna know. Here we go. I don't know where the audio is at. I didn't do anything different. So, what the hell was that? I don't know. The thing just blew. It, well, barely feel it. All right, let's go take a look. I don't know why I effing listen to you. I swear you're like a half retard sometimes. Shit. Uh, what the? Jesus Christ, I almost pissed on my effing shoes. What an effing mess. Felt like an effing earthquake. What the heck? Oh, esh. Uh, lucky bastard. You assholes are gonna die for this. Okay. Hey, I think the audio just messed up in this in the remaster. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it. Alright. Boom. No, I didn't do anything. I'm gonna get you soon. Must have watered down his martini. Watch out! Behind that glass wall. Going in. Get that guy with the towel. Okay. What are you scared, asshole? Oh, oh, easy. That's top shelf food. There's still another dude in here. There we go. Okay. Pick up this Tommy gun. Let's get some shit going. Is that the fucking best you can the other door, Vito? I got the right side. Okay, let's make sure we didn't put that gun down, the, the pistol. Go ahead and reload. Pick open it. Bah. Boom. Got him. Going in. This way, Vito, you won't get through there. Go. You shoot like ah, fuck! The sprinklers are going off. Really? Because I thought it was rain. <laughs> Quick, sir. Fuck! There's more of them coming. Come on, assholes. I'm waiting for you. Three, two. You got it. Lady. We ain't got nothing against you. You about got it. All right, use elevator. Next time, bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi will be in a bedroom? He wouldn't have been if the bomb didn't go off early. Don't worry, we'll get him. Hey, what a freaking ride down the elevator, huh? What a ride. Ow, ow. Right? Get that asshole on the capital. Oh, that's the best you got. Okay. Go. The one more Watch left. It. Up there. You're fucking dead. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, that's the best you got. Back me up. All right, here. Show one more up top and one to the left. Come on, take the shot. Hurry up here. Okay. Get this ammo. Boom. Okay. This we got all your for this freaking thing. No. Oh, they killed more. I knew it. Fuck! They shot him. He's dead, Fido. Joe, come on. We gotta get out of here. You can't help him now. Clementi's getting away. I knew that was gonna happen. Let's go. I'm gonna kill that fuck. Too big of a tra uh, too big of a freaking uh, mission or whatever for a kid like that doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, you think it's over? Wrong, assholes. Back me up, Vito. Oh, we gotta chase him. They split up. Make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. I know how to drive. All right, just be ready with the gun. Don't worry about that. Just follow Clementi. He's in the black limo. Hey, Joe. I'm I got back. eyes too. You know. There goes one of them. Nice job. Clemente's next. 
Joe, shoot, please. Be careful, Beatles. Okay, let's go. He hit him. It's all blood come out of the window. I'm on that ass, boy. I'm on that ass. I'm on that ass, son. I'm on that ass, baby. I actually went past him like an asshole. Are you serious? It, he went the other I'm way. Trying, Joe. Oh my god, are you joking? Okay. Come on. Take a left. Oh my god, he's so lucky. We're gonna cut him off right here, though. Would you please hit him? Joe, Jesus. Can't get that kind of time. Here we go. Where's the audio? The audio just cuts out. I don't know why it does that. That's the end. Can't be sure unless we check. I think it's messed up. I think the remaster is messed up right now. Okay, we killed him. This is for Marty. Oh! Now it's over. Let's go to my place. Okay. You want a beer? Give me uh, a only, It's only certain uh, cinematic shots or whatever. This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left them there. Okay, okay. What about Clementi? Done. All right. Hey, don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main Sm thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Joe, Joe, don't go taking it out on me. It was your right there. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry? All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too, more than you think, but you knew the risks. You too. Hey, this was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You should go home. Okay, well, just give me a minute to get changed. Huh. I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry. <laughs> they do have a point, though. You know, it was um, a big job, so... I mean, I'm not saying it's, it's, you know... It's the right thing to say, but it is very true, you know? No, 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 no. Boom. Alright, we're gonna go home real quick, and then... Call us an episode. Okay, we are home now. Put the car in my garage. Take a little nice little nappy nap. And guess what we got? Another phone call. Now it's at night though. So I'm wondering. We gotta do a night mission. The phone. Hello. Yeah, uh, is this a veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone plain salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look. I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Vito, you got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, 
He ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Also hey, has a gun, so. If you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man. All right. Just hurry. All right. How many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's go get freaking drunk, drunk Joe. Uh, I don't care what I wear. I just want to put some clothes on and get there. All right, we are here. Oh, Vito, you here? Right. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door and just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. You drive here? Ah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to leave? Marty, I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so <coughs> sorry, kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What? Fuck is wrong with you? I was just. You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone. Jeez, Joe. Drag the body body to the bartender's car. Oh my God, Joe. What a freaking mess this is. What an absolute freaking mess. Hey. I cannot believe he just killed that guy. Take Joe home. All right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about Look, just call me tomorrow, okay? Get your stuff under control, dude. Dump the body, be discreet. Okay, we gotta God dude, we go all the way up there. You know, this actually makes me wonder as, as to how many bodies have been found that are like, you know. They have no idea how they got there and who killed them and all that stuff because of the mafia like in the real world because the mafia does exist or it did exist i'm sure they still exist so i wonder how many people actually died back in the day they buried them and then as things progressed on how many bodies are still either not found or have been found all right we got the car and the uh this big ass crusher down here you guys can probably see it crusher Oh, shit. How are you gonna do that, dude? How are you gonna do that, huh? It's a lot of freaking money just for a car like that. Shoot, let me freaking get these other two cars then. Go ahead and smash this window. Go ahead and smash this thing. See how much money we can get out of this thing. We're already right here, you know. Okay, get out of it. If I can get another close to a thousand dollars, I mean, might as well. There's two cars here. The truck down this way, 417. Probably go ahead and use the truck to get home, though, right? That would make more sense. Yeah, I think we should. All right, let's see if we can get home now. Oh, geez, what a freaking night. All right, let's go to sleep. Ugh. What a night. <laughs> Chapter 11. A friend of ours. 
Philip Scaletta, July 27th, 1951. <coughs> All right, guys, that was chapter 10 of the Mafia 2 Definitive Edition campaign. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and show your friends. As always, guys, I'm Mr. Johnny, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of Mafia 2 and any other game we're playing right now. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys check out any other playthrough we're doing at the moment, uh, including Man Eater, and we're, I think we're going to be finishing up Mono for 2. The thing's already done and ready to rock. I just got to edit the videos. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon.